Friends, it is uh, Thursday, January 13, 2022, and we have a wonderful passage today in our VPC devotional from Mark chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. And I want to begin reading then with verse 1. Again, Jesus entered the synagogue, so it's a worship setting, a Sabbath setting, and a man was there who had a withered hand. Sounds like it was a birth defect. They watched him to see whether he Jesus would cure him on the Sabbath, that is the leaders of the synagogue, so that they might accuse him. And Jesus said to the man who had the withered hand, come forward. And then he said to the leaders, is it lawful to do good or harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to kill it? They said nothing. They were silent. He looked around at them with anger. This is one of the few moments in the Gospels where you see Jesus really angry. He was grieved at their hardness of heart, and he said to the man, stretch out your hand. The man stretched it out, and his hand was restored. This is the word of the Lord. Well, there are things that the Sabbath commandment, cease and desist from work, frees us from some of the tyr- uh, the uh, tyr- what can be the onerous aspects of work and the exhaustion and depletion of it, uh, the kind of command and control, control structure and demand structure that we're often in when we're working, uh, the pressure of it that can you know exert anxiety, uh, it can produce anxiety in us and Uh, all of the things that work can do to us that are negative or demand from us that are that are uh, hard to just keep giving we're freed from all of that including the idolatry of work but we're freed for many positive things you know a few lucky people are working in such a way that the best parts of their personality and their passions get expressed at work but many, many people have other sides to their personality that never get to come out at work. They're really good at coding, but they're also an artist on the side, a creative, and they don't get to do that in the, in, in, the, in the work that they do. You know, they're an accountant, but on the side, they're a tremendous sports person, a great hiker, a great photographer. We could go on and give thousands of examples because we're multifaceted as people. We have different passions and different gifts, and they can't usually don't all get slotted into the work. So the Sabbath is a chance to express and explore sides of our personality and our interests which are suppressed at work or insignificant. It's a chance to focus on relationships, not outcomes. Most workplaces focus on outcomes. Focus on play. There's a part of us that remains ready to play. Uh, you know, games and activities and and all kinds of ways to just enjoy uh, one another and enjoy uh, activity. Uh, To focus on people and not deadlines. We can explore, we can can read, we can travel, we can hike, we can invest in our community, we can serve. Uh, This is what Jesus was doing. He was he was healing and helping on the Sabbath. And um, Everyone, of course, should, these are all individual activities and they will vary with our individual personalities, um, with our particular uh, way we've been created by by God. Um, But on the other hand, all of us have the opportunity to worship. There's a collective thing we can do that we need each other for, that our our individual presence enhances our collective uh, experience at worship and I love the fact that folks are listening to worship online and many have health issues that are that are very difficult and or unable to come to worship uh, we're, we're still struggling with with Omicron and so there are a, a, lots of reasons why people are watching online and I love that it has enhanced the outreach of the church At the same time I'm a little afraid that people get out of the habit of coming and giving the gift of their presence to one another because one thing we can do to make our experience of Sabbath powerful is the thing we do together. When we gather for worship, when we sing and pray, when we're freed, when we're blessed, when we're addressed together, when there's a we part of our lives. Let's take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, help us to use the gift of the Sabbath collectively, but also creatively, depending on our individual spiritual temperaments. Help us to discover those temperaments and then 
to, uh, to use what we know to express the parts of our personality and passions to connect with you and others in a deeper way. We ask this in your son's name. Amen.